BizBeat, the insight you need. China's retail and catering sectors had a much better time during this Lunar New Year holiday than in the same period last year. For the year of the ox, holiday retail revenues, including sales by key retail and catering businesses, rose almost one-third from 2020. The final revenues came in at 821 billion yuan, or 127 billion U.S. dollars. I'm quoting official statistics from China's Commerce Ministry, tracking retail sales between February 12th and 17th. There were strong orders from staycationing consumers. People follow the government's guidelines to stay where they work and live instead of traveling back to their hometowns. The better performance this year is not unexpected since the last Lunar New Year holiday was the start of the COVID-19 outbreak. The retail sales number is also better than in 2019 when things were still normal, up 5%. We saw some immediate changes in consumer behavior this year thanks to the authorities' call on migrant workers to stay put. There was a sharp fall in travel and a spike in cinema visits. By midnight on February 17th, the last day of the Lunar New Year holiday this year, the total movie box office revenue stood at almost 8 billion yuan, higher than the level in 2019 when cinemas were not closed due to the pandemic. Meanwhile, when many people were trapped at home, they also spent actively online, buying groceries, ordering meals, and streaming movies and TV series. People were also buying digital home appliances, clothes, and fitness equipment. Orders on some online takeaway platforms more than doubled and were exceptionally high on Chinese New Year's Eve. The Commerce Ministry says consumers were shifting towards contactless and safe consumption. Prices of consumer staples such as pork, beef, and eggs were mostly stable over the holiday period, as shown in the Commerce Ministry data. Another interesting observation is that jewelry sales were hot as the Lunar New Year holiday coincided with Valentine's Day in the Year of the Ox. The Commerce Ministry said jewelry sales almost tripled this year. So what did you buy this Lunar New Year holiday? How much did you spend? Please tell us in the comments section. If you like this video, please like and repost. If you want to check out more videos from us, don't forget to follow Global Business on Sinaweibo and Twitter. I'm Xia Cheng. This is BizBeat. Happy Year of the Ox!